friends, how are you today? I hope you're very well indeed. Today we're going to show you how to draw a beautiful princess and paint her too. Ooh, how exciting! So we've drawn the hair and the face outline and now we're doing the facial features. The eyebrows, the eyes, got some lovely lashes there. And the pupils. Lovely. A little cute nose and a smiley mouth. Let's do her neck and her shoulders. Drawing a collar line for her beautiful dress. And the top part and a belt. Her arms. And hands. She's wearing beautiful gloves. And look at that gorgeous flowing hair. Nice bun too. So, time to do the rest of the dress. We're going to do some frilly layers. Because a princess must have frills. There, thickening up the border. That thick black border really makes the colours stand out when we paint it. Excellent. We're going to start with yellow. Being very, very careful using a thin paintbrush to paint in and around the black lines so that we don't go over the eyebrows or the lashes or inside the eyes by accident. So you can use a really, really slim tip paintbrush to go around the facial features. And then for the wider bits to paint, you can use a thicker paintbrush. Beautiful. I must say, she does look very happy. Painting the neck. There, and the arms. Brilliant. Finishing touches of that colour. Now we're going to colour her hair in and it's going to be brown. Hmm, can you think of any princesses who have brown hair? Maybe a Disney character. Who can you think of? Perhaps Snow White? She was really a princess, wasn't she? Rapunzel? No, she had blonde hair, didn't she? Her hair was yellow. How about Princess Jasmine from Aladdin? Maybe the beauty from Beauty and the Beast. She was sort of a princess. Who's your favourite princess character? Lovely floaty long locks. Carefully painting in between the black lines again. And if you wanted to make it really interesting, you could do different shades of brown in her hair to make it look like the light is shining off it. Little streaks of lighter brown and darker brown. You can lighten that colour by mixing it with a bit of white or mixing it with a bit of black to darken it. This is a nice, simple way to paint it. Last bit of hair there. And you can always use colouring pens or crayons or pencils if you don't fancy painting. There! Excellent! Time to do the dress! Lovely bright pink shoulder pads. Beautiful! What colour do you like? Pink gloves to match. Let's look at what colour paints we have. We have bright pink, then we have yellow, we have a lovely bright green and an orange too. So what colour shall we paint the rest of the dress? Any ideas? Let's do the belt to match the gloves and the shoulder pads. But leave the middle section out because it gives a bit of variety. 
We can paint the bottom section in the dress pink too. Lovely, luscious, bright pink. Wow, that is a sight for sore eyes. You can, of course, choose any colours you like, but it's quite a nice idea to match up the same colour in different parts of the costume, just like we've done here. Brilliant, good job! Let's do a green hairband. It stands out nicely against the brown hair, doesn't it? And to match, we'll do green for the top half of the dress. Keep going, you're doing a brilliant job. And you can layer on thicker paint if you want the colour to be slightly brighter or darker. You could even do patterns on your dress. Maybe some stripes or zigzags or even stars or hearts. These bright colours of her clothes really do stand out against her hair. Right, time to colour the eyes. I know, let's do blue eyes. Gorgeous, leaving a little speck of white in there so it looks like they're shining. And blue in the centre of the belt. Just the mouth now, just the tongue, that will be red. And there you have it, a beautiful princess. Subscribe and watch more! Cheeky Art!